Hello everyone and welcome to this Manchester Northern Quarter uh, walking tour. Today uh, we'll dive into uh, one of Manchester's most iconic and artistic uh, neighbourhoods, uh, the Northern Quarter. But first of all, let's see uh, the highlights of uh, this route that we're going to follow today. So we are starting right here uh, on the Thomas Street, which is across the Shuril Station, which will be at the bottom. Um, we are just meters away from a popular spots uh, like the Piccadilly Gardens, uh, Manchester Andel uh, Centre, which we have seen in our, our previous video, and the Victoria Station. So the Northern Quarter is a place where Manchester's uh, rich industrial past meets modern creativity and urban culture. It's filled with uh, stunning Victorian architecture, unique shops and some of the best street art in the city. So get ready to discover these uh, hidden gems. Uh, historical landmarks and artistic flair that makes uh, this area so so captivating. So as we begin our walk uh, down uh, this Thomas Street you'll notice the buildings here have a very distinct Victorian look. This is a reminder of Manchester's industrial um, revolution days when uh, this area was full of warehouses and factories supporting uh, the textile trade. An example of the art that you can find here in Manchester uh, Northern Quarter is right what we have right in front of us. So today, um, these buildings which historically were used as, as warehouses, um, today most of them have been transformed uh, and now um, they've, you know, they've been transformed into quirky cafes, uh, vintage shops and also uh, creative studios. So we branch off uh, Thomas Street just for a minute so that we can see what it holds uh, behind. You can see it's all full of art. Most of these are um, uh, uh, eateries or pubs and cafes. Normally uh, we are recording in the morning so it is quiet but normally here in the evening um, it's uh, a flurry of activities. There's so many people who uh, come here in the northern quarter uh, to meet with friends or you know just with families just for uh, a dinner or uh, for a drink it's evident in the streets isn't it So the Northern Quarter is actually in the town center and is just meters away from the Piccadilly from the Piccadilly Garden. So it's quite a convenient location uh, to live because some of these you can see their houses and actually people live here. Um, so it is quite a convenient location for those who are looking to uh, living in in the town center. And then of course you have all these amenities or services around it. It's full of these supermarkets, these banks, these um, uh, cafes, pubs, 
you know so and especially for the for the younger for the younger ones i would say uh, or middle what you know working class and stuff most people some of those who actually can um um be able to pay for the apartments or floods here then you know they've, they've chosen this as their their location So we are back again on um, on Thomas Street. So if you are um, if you're around here, just you know that the uh, the northern quarter is is now uh, the heart of Manchester's art scene, blending uh, you know what we were talking about the history uh, with a vibrant and modern twist. If you are a fan of street art, uh, look out as you walk. You will find murals and graffiti by both local and international artists uh, decorating almost every corner um, of, um, you know, of this of this area of the of the northern quarter. Art in the northern quarter isn't just confined uh, to the art galleries; it's out in the open for everyone to enjoy. Look at that. So if you go all the way straight, you will come to uh, uh, to the Piccadilly Gardens. And then towards this end, if you walk all the way straight, that will bring you to uh, the great, uh, the great Uncots, they call it. And that's your uh, typical Spanish tapas uh, bar, bar and restaurant. So this is one of the places that if you came here, you would have to make a stop over. 100%. I've not been in, but 100%. Uh, it's going to have very, very nice food. I would have to stop by here one day to uh, uh, to have a look and and do a review. And this street here is now the uh, the Hilton Street so we're leaving uh, the Thomas Street in the back now and this is Hilton Hilton Street and this will stretch all the way down to uh, what I would call the uh, the Piccadilly the Piccadilly Basin And the Oldham Road, which is here, this intersection that brings you again on one side to the Great Uncut uh, Road, and then on the other side, it takes you all the way to the Piccadilly Gardens as well. It's beautiful. They're all filled with uh, shops. The name, the same uh, type of of buildings, and um, uh, these no the same story warehouses that have become uh cafes uh eateries some of them are offices because some uh some companies have acquired these spaces and uh that's where they've set up their their businesses but yes uh the architecture is still the same victorian architecture that we've seen from from the beginning very very beautiful and now uh uh this is going to be like our first main stop i would say uh, which is the stevenstone uh, stevenson square uh, a public square with a long history that's deeply tied to manchester's cotton trade uh, during the 19th century stevenson uh, square was a hub of commerce with workers bustling to and from the cotton mills. Today, it's a very different scene, as you can see. Uh, now, um, the square is filled with colorful street art on every wall. Um, it is 
you know like one of those original things that I've, I've seen and it gives it gives it a vibrant and lively feel artists regularly refresh the murals here uh, so every visit brings something new uh, to see Stevenson Square is also lined up with independent shops um, a bustling cafes and and bars it's so so cute and it makes uh, it one of Manchester's top spots to uh, to explore uh, whether you're here for history or uh, for art or just a coffee in a quirky cafe Stevenson Square uh, offers something for everyone So now we're going to continue down uh, the street, uh, which is the uh, the Hilton uh, Street, which will lead us to the very edge of the Northern Quarter. Uh, Hilton Street is lined um, with buildings that once housed warehouses and workshops. Uh, these buildings have retained their industrial character as well, uh, but but have taken a new life today. Hilton Street is home to a mix of creative businesses, uh, boutiques and some fantastic places to eat and drink. I love all these tiny streets and they look like, uh, you know, they hide something, something nice in every corner that I turn around. Um, you know, and it's it's something that I uh, I've, I've I've come to love about about the Northern Quarter. When you think you've seen it all, you always you know come up, you know you discover something new. Uh, look at this, um, the decorations for the uh, for the Halloween, which is just passed. To be fair, I think it's such a beautiful place that not just one single or two videos um, would would do to say that you've covered it and you've been able to show the Northern Quarter extensively. So I might have to come back and do another one. Uh, I'm going to do uh, the Great Uncut, but uh, together with with the canal, I'm not going to uh, unveil that yet. But it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful video, uh, which should premiere any time uh, this week. And um, but I think I have to still come back and show, you know, like there's some little nice businesses that I've found around, like um, you know, like very original bakeries and stuff like that that I would want to show uh, in uh, a new video. So I might have to do a series of, um, you know, like uh, some specific stuff here in, in the Northern Quarter that I can share with you. So we are still walking along uh, the, uh, the Hilton Street. The community here is, uh, it has a distinct and welcoming vibe that attracts both locals and, and tourists alike. They're very nice people around here. If you are looking for authentic Manchester, this is where you will find it. As I said, every corner of uh, the Northern Quarter offers something different, uh, from unique independent shops uh, to even uh, hidden art studios. So if you're walking around here, just make sure that you keep your eyes peeled uh, because you will be finding uh, these, these things.
Look at these buildings here, for example. I don't know how old these buildings will be, but they must have been here uh, for centuries. You know, you, just by looking at the, uh, the type of architecture and the brick, you can tell that these are very, very old buildings. Very old. And look at the floor in the, uh, the, the ground as well. So we are now uh, approaching our final destination, which is actually also one of uh, the greatest uh, beauties and attraction of this of this video. So uh, stay on, hang on, and actually thank you so much for uh, staying around with me. Just to remind you that the channel goes by the name of Hajj Ways. And if it's your first time here, uh, do not forget to hit on that subscri uh, subscription button, uh, hit on the notification bell, give the video a like, and please share it with friends and family. It will only take a minute, you know, just a minute, but it will be very helpful to the uh, to this channel. So yes, uh, as I said, we are approaching our our final destination uh, for this video, and this is um, dun, 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 just one minute, and I'm gonna unveil it right now. So this will be the uh, the Piccadilly Basin, anyways. Uh, one of Manchester's most uh, scenic spots. Uh, the basin is right along the Rochdale Road. I mean the Rochdale Canal, sorry, which played a vital role in Manchester's growth as an industrial powerhouse. Back in the 18th uh, century, uh, the canal was used to transport goods, primarily cotton and textiles, between Manchester and surrounding towns. The Rochdale, uh, today, Rochdale Canal adds a touch of tranquility to the area. Just look at those reflections. Uh, and also in, in, in the back when we turn around. Um, it's just beautiful. There you go. And look at that. Yeah, just look at those reflections. The modern buildings along the canal edge like the stunning Dakota Hotel, mirror beautiful, beautifully under, under, under the water, creating a peaceful scene right in the heart of the city. Piccadilly Basin has become a popular place for locals and visitors to relax, take a picture and enjoy the, uh, the calm waterside views. The Piccadilly Basin also represents the new face of Manchester. It's a mix of um, historical roots with modern living spaces, restaurants and shopping areas. Standing here, you really get a sense of how Manchester is evolving, blending its industrial heritage with uh, future growth. And that uh, wraps up our Manchester Northern Quarter walking tour. Today, we've walked from Thomas Street to the Piccadilly Basin, exploring the transformation of Manchester industrial past and the modern hub of art and culture and also community. The Northern Quarter truly showcases Manchester's unique uh, history and artistic spirit, a neighborhood where every building tells a story and every street corner offers something new to discover whether you are a history enthusiast or art lover or just a curious to see manchester's uh, hidden gems the northern quarter is a must visit if you enjoyed this tour don't forget to like subscribe and share um, and also your comments which uh, parts of northern quarter you like to explore next thanks for joining and see you in the next video bye bye